Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. This afternoon I have an order for an arrangement to go over to one of the care homes here in town. They wanted a nice arrangement to be placed on their entry table. They are going to have a spring fling tomorrow. And so that's what I was going to work on for you. I'm starting out with a, a large mouthed vase. This is a glass vase and it's got a pretty wide opening. So I would say it's almost, the, the opening is also almost as large as my hand. So to make it easier, I am going to use some waterproof tape and I'm going to grid the top of this vase. Now, the reason I grid it is because it's going to keep my flowers from flopping. They're all gonna stay in place. So I'm just taking this tape and I am doing just some lines of tape onto this vase and it's going to keep my flowers standing up straight. So I'm gonna do three lines of tape going this way and then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do three more going the opposite. So it's just gonna give me a little bit of a grid help keep my flowers standing up straight. Now, let me tell you, you can do this at home. You do not have to have this waterproof tape. You can absolutely do this with scotch tape. As long as your vase is clean on the outside and it is dry, you can use scotch tape to do this exact grid. Now what I'm doing now is I'm going all the way around and I'm laying just a strip of tape all the way around to hold down my grid. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a crisscrossed grid, okay? So next I'm gonna start with a little bit of greenery. And I say a little bit, you know, I really like greenery, so it's probably gonna be a good bit of greenery. This is leather leaf and I'm gonna use the leather as my base. I've got my trash can here. So I am just going to go ahead and add greenery all the way around. Now, they gave me $85 and they wanted me to make it as large and showy as I possibly could for that amount. So I'm gonna try to make it as big as I can. So I'm gonna use a few lesser expensive flowers too, just so that I, it'll go a little further. Alright, so I've just about got my leather leaf in there. Oh, it's got my nose itching. Why is it you get your hands dirty and your nose itches every time? Okay, so there's my leather. Next, I'm going to come in with some Sago Palm, which I love. It's pretty to me. It's just a smaller type of palm. Really more of an ornamental, I think. But it's pretty, and it makes this arrangement look kind of fancy. All right. So there's my palm. Next, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of lemon leaf, or salal. We got this week um, in we got a box of mixed greenery, which is a lot of fun to work with. I don't work with Salal a whole lot. I know that there are florists who don't use leather leaf at all. For me, I really, leather leaf, leaf is a staple in our shop. It's just something that, it works, it's easy, it's inexpensive, it's a great base. Um, lots of people like lemon leaf. I like it okay, but I certainly wouldn't replace leather with it. <laughs> But it's nice, I like the big leaves, I like the texture. All right, so there's my greenery. So I've got pretty greens all the way around in that base. Next, I'm gonna come in with a couple of yellow glass. Now, let's see. So these are gladiolus. Now what I'm gonna do is you see that it has a little bit of a stalk here. It's got the little top. Now. This top is not going to bloom. No matter how long you keep the flower, it will not bloom. So in order to get the other blooms to bloom out, you pop the top right out of that um, flat, and it helps to force these other blooms to open right up. So 
So you see this top? It's never going to bloom. I'm just going to pop it right out and it's going to help force these other blooms to open. I like glads because they're just showy. They're pretty showy flowers. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with some stock. And I have purple stock, which smells so pretty. And it looks so springy. So this really pretty purple, or I guess it's lilac colored stock. And it really screams spring to me, that color does. Now we use stock year round, so, so you can get stock all the time. All right, next I'm gonna come in with a little bit of Solidago, give me that yellow color. You know I like Solidago. So I am adding this yellow Solidago, which is, oh, my favorite. You know I love the yellow. All right, one more stem. All right, next, I'm gonna come in with some button moms. Now, I love button moms. Not everybody does, but a button mom is in the daisy family. It's in the mom, or the chrysanthemum family. These are just little buttons, and so they come in yellows and greens and whites and lavenders, but this is a perfect spring color, right? So I'm gonna pop a few of these buttons in here. Now the reason I really like a mom too is because it lasts a long time. It's really a nice long lasting flower. All right, so you can see I have flowers all the way around. So it'll be perfect on a center table. Now these are also in the mom family. These are called cremones and they're kind of a peachy pinky color, just a really pretty spring. flowers all the way around. Now I'm going to come in with some white tulips just because a tulip certainly says spring clean. And so these are just pretty white tulips. Now the one thing about tulips is you always want to cut it shorter than you would normally have it in an arrangement. The reason you do that is because the tulip's going to continue to grow. Now why it does that, it's interesting, I don't know. But they are pretty and they're a lot of fun. All right. So lastly, I was going to put these pink um, roses in, but I don't have the money for the pink roses, but I do have money for some of this um, green dragon, so I'm going to add a little bit of green dragon to this arrangement. Green dragon is a filler type flower. It's really an, a foliage, but oh, it's so pretty, or penny crest, they call it, um, and it just makes me happy, and it looks very spring. So I'm just tucking a little bit of this in there. to place on an entry table for the spring fling at the um, care home. Thank you so much for watching this afternoon. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more content like this, you can follow us on all our social media down below. Guys, have a great day.